Hi gorgeous! In today's video I'm sharing a full application demo, review, and wear test with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation and Gossamer Powder. So first I'll show you how each of these products apply and then I'll show you what they look like at the end of a 10 hour day and I'll be back at the end of the video to share my full thoughts. Okay, so before we get into the demo, I'll show you what each of these products looks like up close. This is the Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation. You can see it's quite watery in there. So this is one that does need to be shaken up before you apply it. And to get the foundation that you need, you simply press the button on top here to soak up the foundation, take the dropper out, and then you can disperse however much you need. And this is the Gossamer Powder. I love the packaging with this one. You open it up, they give you a powder puff up front, you open up this little compartment, and there is the powder. And I love the design of this. It's very easy to take your beauty blender and just press down into it and the powder comes right out. And shake, 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 shake. And the great thing about this foundation in particular is that it has buildable coverage. So you can apply it very light, medium, or full coverage depending on what you're looking for. So I'm gonna take one drop of this onto my finger and lightly apply this just around the face. I mean, you really don't need much. I'll show you what it looks like with a light amount first, and then with a medium, and then with a full coverage. And blending in the first layer. And there's nothing bad in this foundation either. It's extremely high quality. It's paraben free, oil free. There's hardly anything in it at all, and definitely nothing in it that's going to hurt your skin. And I feel like it provides the most weightless, even coverage. And those are your final results with just one drop of the Kevin Aquan foundation. Beautiful light coverage. So I'll go in with another drop here to show you what it would look like if you had medium coverage. And final results with two drops of foundation compared to the no makeup side here. And if you wanted to, you could add in a third drop for full coverage. I usually don't though. I usually just use one drop of this foundation and that's enough for me. But I wanted to show you the buildable coverage that you get with this one. And that's what it looks like with three small drops of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation. Now you can absolutely add more or bigger drops if you wanted to for greater coverage. It's completely up to you, but I just wanted to show you that a little bit of this foundation goes a long way and provides you with even flawless coverage. Now when I'm using the powder, I also use the Beauty Blending Sponge. And what's great about this powder is that since it is that translucent powder, you're not running the risk of ruining your powder. So I just take the Beauty Blender lightly press it in there. So I'll show you up close here. There's tiny little grooves in here. And when you press, the powder comes out. And you don't need much pressure to get the powder to come out. When you use a damp beauty blender to apply powder over the foundation, not only does it help to set it really nice, but it helps your makeup to last a lot longer too. And again, with the powder, I'm not using much at all. I just press the beauty blender into it once got what I needed, and that's it. Completed side and side that has not been done yet. Very light, beautiful, even coverage, extremely natural looking on the skin. So I went ahead and did this side of my face, but to further add to this test, I only used one drop of the foundation on this side compared to the three drops that I used on this side. So we'll see if that makes a difference in the longevity of these products. Now, Kevin Aquan states that the foundation is supposed to go for six to eight hours there is no time frame on the powder, but I feel like the powder makes the foundation last super duper long. It is seriously one of the best powders I've ever used. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day, come back at the end of the video, and we'll let you know for sure how many hours I got out of both of these products. 10 hours later and you can see why I love this foundation and powder from Kevin Aquan. Now, one of the things that I noticed today on the side where I'd applied three drops of the foundation, it started to look oily around the eight and a half hour mark compared to the side where I'd only applied one drop 
of the foundation, but that's pretty darn good for this to even go eight and a half hours before I had that tiny amount of shine breakthrough. And if I touch my face now, it still feels very matte, dry to the touch. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel like my makeup's about to slide off of my face. And at no point in the day did I feel like I was wearing makeup. And that's what I love so much about this foundation and powder is that it's incredibly light on the skin and you don't feel like you have every, a lot of stuff caked onto your face. And the humidity today was about 50% here with 77 degrees being the high, which not too bad of a day for testing foundation and powder. I have used this foundation and powder on days before here at 95% humidity, and the results were exactly like you're seeing here. So this has become one of my all-time favorite combinations for Florida heat and humidity. If you suffer in the same kind of environment, you will love this. It's excellent for oily skin, and I can't sing its praises enough. Results speak for themselves. Love this foundation and powder. It has become my new go-to combo, and it's one that I have been wearing religiously over the past month. And what I love so much about high-end foundations is that a little bit of product goes a long way. I mean, you saw in the demo just that one drop of foundation that I used on half of my face. I could use that on my entire face and I'd be good to go. So when you look at the price tag of some of these high-end foundations, just remember that you're actually going to get a lot of use out of them because you don't need much for application. And there are a lot of really excellent quality ingredients used in a lot of these high-end foundations too. I think that Kevin Aquan, in fact, I believe I remember reading on their website about the kinds of ingredients that they put into this foundation that are really good for the skin. And I've not experienced any breakouts since I've been using this foundation and powder either. So major plus there. Let me know what you thought about the Kevin Aquan foundation and powder, or if you've tried it out, what you think about it. And if there's another foundation or powder you'd like to see reviewed here, please feel free to share it below as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.